Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, remember how John Tory sent a whole bunch of cops into our park system in order to clear out all the homeless that were living there? Yeah, totally cool and normal, right? Sending in cops in like a fascist manner in order to clear out the encampments of our most vulnerable citizens while they're at their lowest possible point. Totally cool and normal. Well, it turns out that right after that, mere days after this event, uh, guess who starts to show up to these parks? Film crews. Film crews start to show up to the parks, specifically a film crew for uh, the series Why the Last Man. Now, uh, Tim Owens, right, the uh, production manager for Why the Last Man, which is the film crew that showed up right after John Tory cleared out the encampment, said, Oh, uh, this is just a coincidence. Uh, the, 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 the two uh, events are just completely unrelated. I know the optics look bad, but oh, believe me, these events are completely unrelated. Well, guess what? I don't believe that shit even for a second. Our media is absolutely drenched in sociopathic nightmare people living within the entertainment industry doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It's extremely believable to me that the same people who are willing to send cops in to clear encampments of our most vulnerable citizens are also willing to lie about it. With the production of Why the Last Man finishing its shooting literally tomorrow, uh, here's a very believable conversation that I'm sure definitely happened. Johnny. Yes, sir? Johnny, I have all kinds of shoots that are closing up, and I can't have these dirty homeless in the shots. I need you to do something about it. But... Unless you want me to take my money somewhere else? Oh, no! I knew I could count on you, Johnny. John Tory is the human equivalent of a bologna sandwich on Wonder Bread. It's okay to have every once in a while, but I wouldn't want it to be a staple in my diet. Uh, he's never actually going to stand up against capital, and this situation uh, completely shows that that is the case. Uh, he can't uh, confront capital to get one of or some of the 66,000 empty homes that exist in Toronto in order to solve this crisis of homelessness. Uh, and he can't confront the capitalists in regards to their demands that they clear these parks of the homeless people. And for what? So that when we're watching these shitty, trashy comic book movies, uh, that when we see a park, oh, there's no homeless people in the park. Well, there's no tents in the park, right? Isn't that nice? It means that once again, we have rendered the problem of homelessness invisible in our society. That when we're watching our movies, we don't have to be confronted with the realities that we are abandoning people into these parks. That we are abandoning people. And so, uh, feel good. Every single time you see a park in a movie, you get to go, you get to completely ignore the fact that, uh, oh, hey, there's no tents in there, that's wonderful. Meanwhile, the people who are homeless get this. <laughs> And that's what you get when you elect the human equivalent of an empty jar of mayonnaise. You get this. If you've made it to this point, please be sure to like, please be sure to share, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, I have a Patreon down below. I could use all, all the support I could get. Uh, uh, please come to my live stream, uh, 6 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are organizing the Revolutionary Project. We could use your assistance. Please come on down. Oh... Given what's going on in the world, guys, you are doing wonderfully. Always remember, you are a divine being standing in divine energy. We could use some of it right now. These billionaires spend billions of dollars to gaslight you into believing that you are less than what you are. Don't let, don't let them. Good luck. We're going to need it.